Oh god, no, 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 it's stuck! God damn it, it's stuck! Dang, if only there was a way I could put full screen games into a windowed mode. Hmm, Kevin, do you have any suggestions for that? Because I'm trying to play a game and it's stuck on full screen. How do I make it windowed? Well, I'm glad you asked old Papa Kevin, because, <laughs> oh god, because there's a couple different ways you can do this. Now, the first thing you can do, perhaps, say, if you're playing, I'm just gonna pull out Five Nights at Freddy's just because I have it right here. But, in any instance, like, if you're playing Looney Pop in the top left over there, wow, this is loud. Anywho, just, if you want to put this in a full screen mode, it all depends on the game. The most common thing you can do is press Alt and Enter at the same time, and if it works and loads, uh, there you go, it's in a windowed mode now. And it works with just a certain number of games. There's other alternatives to do this. Obviously, in the game, if it already gives you the option to do that within settings, you can change it from minimize, windowed, or full screen. But it all depends on the game. So for this game specifically in Brawlhalla, you're able to go to settings if you wanted to, and you can change it to windowed, full screen, or maximize windowed mode in this display. Some games like FNAF, on the other hand, which I just showed you, automatically start the game and they boot up on full screen and then you can just press alt and enter to minimize the window there's another method that i've seen where in some instances if the game doesn't want to work in a windowed mode what you can do is copy and you can paste it as the shortcut right and then you go into the shortcut go to the properties and in the properties where it has right here it's target use it's gonna say this after the um, the parentheses, no, not the parentheses. <laughs> After the quotation marks, I did the thing with my fingers, the little two, and then, yeah, I did that with my fingers, and I still said parentheses for some reason. I'm so smart. But what you can do is what I've heard is that you can press space, do the minus symbol, and then push either W or window. That's how you spell window or window mode, and then you click apply, and then you click OK, and apparently. It's supposed to start the game immediately as the windowed version, but when I do it, it still does the full screen mode, which is this right here. So I mean, again, alt and enter. You can do that, get right out of it immediately, and you can get your windowed mode. I've heard that if you do this part right here, it's supposed to put the game automatically in window mode, but so far I tried it with a couple different games to launch it and it hasn't worked, so maybe it's like specific games, maybe like really simple different javascript games i don't know that's what i've heard um it doesn't work on this game specifically but it might work in any other game dash w dash window or dash window mode with no space in between that's that's another way you can do it it just hasn't worked for me in any of the games that i've tried now i've been having problems with this there's a certain game called fnaf world <coughs> scott coffin uh <laughs> And when I open the game, I'm just going to close out of this. Uh, when I open the game, it starts in full screen, right? So I'm just going to open the game real quick, have it on full screen, just to see what it's going to bring up. And there's the main menu. This is update 2. This is the game you can get from Scott Cawthon on Game Jolt at Real Scott Cawthon, I think. Whatever. But this is this is FNAF World. Obviously, it's a game from Scott Cawthon. And unlike the other games, you can't press Alt and Enter. So... Alt and enter so it's kind of stuck here and even when I try to put it in its shortcut mode to which is the minus W thing it doesn't work still so I've been looking up everywhere you know how do you oh my god this this is annoying the song okay <laughs> so I've been looking up everywhere how do you minimize FNAF world because it's stuck on full screen alt enter doesn't work sometimes when you press the number pads like one two three on the number pad on some games it does transition it from full screen to window to maximize windowed mode on the number pad one two three or you know on the shortcut go to dash w dash window or dash uh, window mode it doesn't work fnaf world is the one and only game that doesn't want to work like this and how i did this right now was uh if you want to exit out the game without exiting out of it just press alt and escape and you can basically be back at your, you know, your main thing right here. You can still do whatever, but your game is in the background now. So now it's a background process. Another thing you can do to escape this is press Alt and Tab. And it'll open your tabs for you like this. You can just keep doing that. Keep pressing Tab to scroll through all of them. Or just get out of FNAF World like that. That's another way you can do it. So the last and final solution or alternative that I found... To making FNAF World windowed because again, Alt Enter didn't work, 
one, two, three, and number pads didn't work. Uh, making a shortcut, and then after the shortcut, putting dash W, dash window, dash window mode. None of that worked. So I was really, you know, digging deep into the internet. Well, how do you make any game windowed, or most games windowed? There's a thing you can download. There's no installation for this one. It plays locally off this file, but when you download it from online, it's going to give you a RAR file. Just, it gives you this, and then you can copy and paste this into a folder like this. And what you can do is open this up. The .exe plays locally from these two folders, so there's no installation. There are other things you can install, but if you're looking for installment free, something that you don't need to install, you could just go here. So I'm going to remove this real quick. Delete. Yes, delete. And this is how you use it. As soon, the first time you get this and you open it, it's going to be blank. So what you can do is you can go to file. Um, I think you can go to edit. No, edit and then add. Or you can just right click it and go to add, which is what I've been using. So I got a little bit confused there. And now you have this. You have your path. This is important. And the middle one only, not the launch. The middle one for path. Go to the three little dots here and locate this on your desktop. For me, it's on my desktop right here, FNAF Games. So it's on, it would be on my desktop right here. Go to FNAF World and double click it or you can press the open. So now you have it here on your path, which is important. If it's in your path, that means that right now it's going to be locating that file and it's going to run in window. There's a thing, there's a couple of things you can change. You can click on the keep aspect ratio and then when you go to direct X on top, you need to put it to DirectX 9. DirectX 9 is the window that it's going to open in. It's what um, what .exe programs use to open its window on to make it windowed mode and not full screen. So this is what you need to click. There are other settings you can mess with like cursor visibility. I mean, if you're recording on any other software, you don't really need to mess with this, but that's fine. Uh, force uh, cursor clipping just means that if I open the game, I can't have my mouse leave the game area. Similar to Halo Online. If you looked at the other tutorial for that one, you can't, your mouse will not be able to leave the box. So I would just say leave everything alone. The only thing you need to make sure that's on is the run in window. You can keep aspect ratio if you want. And in the Direct X tab, click Direct X 9. And I do believe that that's it for right now. Maybe the video I'll have to mess with. I'm not exactly sure. But. What you can do with some games is click run immediately from this software or you can make sure to be safe that you go to wherever your game is at and open it from there and it should open in a window right here there we go i did it so yeah <laughs> now it should start in a windowed mode there you go see now it's done but there's a problem the window is locked onto here see i can do this and it'll minimize it but you can't stretch it outward anymore so how do you get to the bottom well the only solution that i can tell you and it's gonna be loud hold on <laughs> all right the only solution that i can tell you to do with this is just to grab the side and scrunch it in a bit or maybe you gotta do that in a setting hmm, hold on yeah you probably have to go to the settings so go here modify modify there you go uh in the video is what i was saying right so Fixed window, I think it is fixed window frame style. Refresh on window size. Um, fixed parent window. And I think that's all I want to add. Just these four right here. Because I think that's what I did last time. To make it so I was able to readjust it slightly, but not too majorly. Here we go. Now that I have this black bar here, that means that I, I'm able to freely do this now. So I'm able to slowly drag it to the left and now it's able to adjust itself a little bit better the nose is up here now instead of directly on the face it's gonna be a little bit oriented it's a little bit disfigured but it works i'm just gonna say at least it works other th other methods aren't gonna help so sometimes when you outstretch the window it's gonna give you like those double lines just to like if i do this it's gonna give you more and more of these lines because it's trying to tell the program to rescale it which isn't gonna be very accurate so I'd say just try to do the best. If you're going to go with this method, do the best that you can like this. And there you go. I mean, it works. It's just that the, the nose won't be on the nose. It'll just be a little bit upward. It's not going to lock directly on it. Of course, you can go, always go to modify and mess with the video settings on your own. But just for the sake of the video, that's just the basics of how to use it. It's not really working that well. But that's the best you can do uh, to get any or most games from full screen to windowed mode. The only reason... I'm doing this tutorial is because 
I was trying to record FNAF on my Twitch stream, which you can follow at I'm Kevin117, uh, on Twitch for Fright Night Friday, but because it was windowed, it was full screen mode, it, I wouldn't be able to see any of the Twitch chat talk to me. So that was a problem. I don't have dual monitors for now, so I wanted to have this as a windowed mode so I can have the game on the right and I can have the uh, Twitch chat on the left so I can read. So I spent a couple hours looking how do you make full screen games windowed mode? And I finally found a couple solutions, which these don't work for all games. It works for most games or some games in that instance. This one can work for all games. It just doesn't work very well. And this one you do not need to install. Again, reiterating that, uh, do you want to save? Uh, blah, 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 sure, why not? When I, I usually click no because I can always remake it, but whatever. But this does not need installation. Uh, there's going to be a website linked in the description below where you can download this one and you don't need to install it. It just downloads the RAR file and then you open it into a window or into a folder. Whoops. And then, you know, you can play the .exe from there and then customize your settings from there. So hopefully that helps. If you want to follow my Twitch streams to see my live stream gameplays for Fright Night Fridays. I'll be streaming every Friday, a scary game of anyone's choice. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this helped. I hope you guys have a good day. Be safe and have fun with a couple games. Try this out. If it works, congratulations. Hooray, it works. Now you can enjoy your game. If it doesn't, then I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. Leave a comment about what happened specifically and I'll try to help if I can. But those are the only methods that I can find online. So hopefully it helps.